Welcome to the first episode of SMZ, Social Media Zone. It's part of Infinity TV. Every week we're going to be doing a roundup of all the things social that we do, how we help our customers, things we thought that were really cool. We're just going to have a conversation around it. And today's the first episode we're really excited about. So Leanne, when do we get us started? What kind of things did you see this week? John Mayer. What about John Mayer? He canceled his Twitter. What did you do that? I don't know. 3.7 million followers because he's a goof. He says he can't be an artist and Twitter at the same time. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> at his concert, he was reading the tweets on his iPad, like in the middle of the concert. It was yeah. cool. That's well, fun. maybe he has ADD and he can't do two things at once. But <laughs> I think maybe um, he can't do it because his body's a wonderland. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. Well, yeah. obviously, John Mayer is like most men, you can't walk and chew gum at the same time, so that's going to be one of the things that we'll have to think about for Johnny going forward. That's awesome. Rach, what do you got this week? Gap created a new logo this week that people don't like very much. So they've been getting a lot of backlash on Twitter because they've had their logo for about 20 plus years now. And uh, their new one doesn't look so good. It's regular font. Nothing fancy with a white logo and a little blue square in the corner. Isn't that what it was before? No, it it's was, really it was um, like a, a serif font, like a fancy font in white with a dark navy blue square in the background. And now it's just on white with a little tiny blue square in the corner. Uh -huh. So somebody created a website called craplogo.me. <laughs> so you can put your name in there and get your own crappy Gap logo. Very so cool. now Gap has sort of issued a thanks for all your comments and thanks for your input. We love our logo, but if you have something better, let us know. Very nice. So they're searching for other people to do new designs for their logo. And maybe new ad agency, you know, along with that, right? <laughs> the guy who had to design. Yeah. The guys that spent, you know, the ten million coming up with the new logo fail. I feel really bad for them. Because yeah. they like everybody knows. Wow. Yeah, but you, have to, you have to death test market, right? Like yeah. you have to you have to see how people respond to it. But it's like the bell thing. They spent yeah. like what seven million dollars in rebranding and went back to the same design they had twenty years ago. Well, I think I think that's what Gap tried to do because they released it. They did a sort of a soft release on their website and just released it on the website. And they thought that people wouldn't really notice, but everybody noticed. But what, you don't do it if you don't want people to notice. Yeah, right? exactly. Well, the power of social. Here we go. Let me tell you about what I think. That's cool. Thanks, Rach. It's awesome. Big Johnny, what do you got this week? Well, you know what? I have to admit, uh, this week I was really, really happy because I was watching trends on Twitter and I found out that Monday, I think it was Monday, it'll be corrected if it wasn't, was National Vodka Day. <laughs> and you got it, like, you know, like that is like, you know, for me there's a lot of stuff that I read and I go, yeah, I'm not out there interested. National Vodka Day. So I went home and I made sure in celebration I had at least one or two vodka. <laughs> and not that this is a commercial, but I actually sent a message to my buddy Craig Peters, who is the founder of Tag Vodka, which is made here in Oakville and said happy vodka day and of course he was out celebrating he never returned he was probably at a bar somewhere but yeah, national vodka like distillery <laughs> <laughs> you know, swimming in it swimming in it but i thought that was cool so i you know what i need you guys to do is let me know that any of those kind of things happen national beer day you know anything so, you know just make sure that you let me know because that's kind of after my so if, we every, let you, if we let you know you have to bring in the keg and yeah i will every company has one and this is ours. <laughs> and we love them. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thanks so Lizzie. much. Thank you, Johnny. And by the way, that, uh, Please, we're going to expect uh, Tag Vodka to pay a little for that part that we just did right there. That's awesome. Perfect. Lizzie, what do you got this week for us? Uh, Johnny Depp. He, oh, he's uh, cute. Did yeah. <laughs> you guys see that he, uh, a little girl in England wrote to him, she's nine years old, and said, can you please come to my school and help us stage a mutiny against the teachers? And so he's in London filming the new parts of the Caribbean movie. So he like dressed up as Jack Sparrow, brought a whole gang of pirates to the school and surprised the kids and the kids amazing. called the little girl up to the stage like in assembly and they like staged a new thing as a teacher. <laughs> so cute. And it's all over YouTube and was talking about it and it's gone viral and there's a video and she's so cute. Her name's Beatrice and she was so shocked. Oh, and, yeah, he's a pretty cool guy. I read also that he went to a hospital a few years ago and did the same thing, like surprised the kids and read stories like in the Jack Sparrow costume. So. So you can dream big, and things can happen. It's really good. Yeah. I think Johnny, when Dad walked in here in a pirate's costume, I'd have to have a drink of vodka. 
Oh, I think we'd all have a drink. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny Depp is here. That's Johnny Depp. Aren't they promoting, like, are they starting to film a new Pirates movie, too? So yeah. That's yeah. 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 So that's why you're in all the costume. Yeah. 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 So. Very nice. Wouldn't it be more fitting cool. to be Captain Morgan? <laughs> <laughs> but that's wrong. Well, that's that's, that's wrong. Yeah, very wrong. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. By the way, called National Rum Day. Okay. That's great. Thanks, Lizzie. Connie. Well, well, Fab finds wonderful $10 iPad giveaway. Did anyone else accept it? <laughs> Listen, yes. that almost caused Joe to have a nervous breakdown. He's been like following that thing like crazy, thinking he's gonna win one. I got I woken up at 5:30 a.m. with their email that you get every morning, and I woke up and I looked at it, and I looked at Hanny, and I said, I think that they're giving away iPads for $10. Of course, he said to me, he was like, it's a scam. He wouldn't even give me his credit card. So all, I was in class, and all day I kept clicking on the link, clicking on the link, and later I found out, Rachel just told me today, actually, that it was all scam, and they only gave away like two or four. They only yeah. ended up getting away five in total, I think. And, and I didn't get one of those. It was probably yeah. scam. Yeah. Joel was not happy then. No, one of them, because of so many people complained all day on Twitter. Like People were really angry. They got huge backlash. People showed up at 1 a.m. the night before. Yeah, uh, they were either lining up. Store, lining up. And they were only releasing it every so often. Like They released one in the morning, wow. and then hours later, like everybody was sitting on the computer, they released two. So people were waiting on their computer all day. They only ended up giving away five. And so I guess someone at Now Magazine complained, so they taped a video and put it on YouTube of them going to Now Magazine and nice. giving away a free iPad. Nice. Wow. They only got a $10, a $10 iPad. $10. The person yeah. at Now Magazine to it's get a little bit more publicity. publicity yeah. Because like now everyone's talking about Do you know it. I've never heard of them. But not in a good way. Yeah, but it yeah. proves, you know what? I always say, not all publicity is good publicity. Mm. And that's not good for the brand. Right. But everyone right. knows their name now. Nobody knew their name before. Yeah, but I wouldn't think of them as like I'm someone reliable. I'd go to. Yeah, reliable. I'd rather I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah. sign up. That's true. Like, deal the difference. Listen, right? they made it under our show. Okay. They got to have some kind of know <laughs> I made it under our show, Johnny. That's all that really matters. You know what? No, but it's legit. You want it legit. I agree. Would yeah. you go on and sign no, up? No, you know what? Website? Absolutely. Trump okay. Star covered it. Toronto Star was slammed it completely. Said the site should have never crashed. I'll stick but with red flag deals the other day. There you go. Yeah. That's yeah. another product yeah. placement. Yeah. Anyways, moving right on. Thanks, <laughs> Big Joe, what have you got? This you? week, I have unicorns. <laughs> what have you been smoking this week? <laughs> you don't want to know. Um, earlier this week, uh, the Ontario Science Center made a release um, on social media, and it was a unicorn sighting video. Um, now, if anybody's at all familiar with H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds, when it was read out on the radio, people went nuts, right? It caused mass hysteria. But this... And suicides. Yeah. yeah. This just caused mass hilarity. You could clearly, clearly tell that the unicorn was fake. Um, but uh, if you clicked any of the links here, it just led to the Ontario Science Center's website, which coincidentally shows that they're doing a mythic creature uh, uh, show. Oh, yeah. that's cool. The video itself, actually, it looks, I mean, it's obviously not a real unicorn, uh, but it was cool the way they kind of had it going through the bushes, kind of cool. It's yep. lots of hits on YouTube, right? Yep, it's, uh, it's sort of like a, it's supposed, it's supposed to be a reality video. Um, it's very, uh, it's very raw video. And very cool. Yeah. Johnny, you mean cool. unicorns don't exist? No, I don't think so. Are you gonna no, <laughs> what about Santa? Santa exists? Yeah. Santa exists? Of course. Well, then Santa's and unicorns and yeah. unicorns. They had to flowers. shut down the Ar Ireland airport or something because of a UFO. It would be Shannon. Shannon. China. Where? China. Shannon. China. Shannon. Shannon. That's what it's called. The airport in Ireland. China. China. <laughs> okay, China. Yeah, a Chinese airport. Yeah. But that's close. Be no, seriously, China. because of a UFO. On Twitter, BT just said this morning that there was two UFO sightings in Toronto this morning. Really? Yeah. Serious UFO? Really? How did we go from unicorn to UFO? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't you know why the one with ADD. This is the this is the perfect segue to end our our weekly roundup of SMC. Guys, thanks very much for we look forward to seeing you guys next week. It's been have an awesome social week. Take care.